Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Square for another flash review where I review crochet products in less than 10 minutes. So today I will be reviewing the Prim Ergonomic Crochet Hook Set. Yes, there's one missing. It's in a project, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I bought this set as part of my crochet hook shopping spree. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link here. I gave my first impressions then, and I said I would use them for a prolonged period of time, one at a time, and then give you a more in-depth review. So that's what today is, a more in-depth review on the Prim Hook. I've been using the Prim Hook in both the Fall Fireside Afghan Crochet Along that we're doing, and also in this... Um, I'm making either a scarf or a pocket shawl. I haven't decided yet. And by the way, this is that carnival yarn from Hobie, which I'll be reviewing as well. Beautiful colors, right? So anyway, let's take a look at the hook. First, what do you get in this set? You get five hooks. This one goes in there. So you get 3.5, 4.0, 4.5, 5.0 and 6.0 millimeter hooks. And that set is priced at $29.99. So we're talking about $6 per crochet hook. As far as aesthetics go, I think it's a pretty hook. It's a plastic hook and they are color coded. So there's a different color for each size. The one thing I don't really like about the aesthetics of the hook is the way the size is printed. I don't even know if you can see it there. Maybe slightly. It's right there and it is molded in there. So it shouldn't wear off, but to see that, that's just so difficult. So that is one thing I didn't like about the aesthetics. And as pretty as I think these are, it's not as pretty as the furls. So pretty, but not gorgeous is what I would say about these. As far as the grip goes, very comfortable. I had no issues with it. It's a nice length handle for me. I I use the knife hold, so keep that in mind, but I loved holding it. It was very comfortable, absolutely no issues with the grip. And it does have a, um, I wouldn't say tacky, but it's easy to grip. It's not gonna slip around in your hand. Okay, as far as slip goes, they advertise these as very smooth, and when you feel them, they are very smooth. However, slip-wise, not as good as Tulip Edamo, Clover, or Furl's Odyssey. I felt a little resistance, and I would hear squeaks when I was using it. I'm not sure if it slowed me down that much, but it definitely didn't have the slip of those other three hooks. Okay, as far as the point, at the top goes, you know, I'm really picky about that. It's great. It got into my stitches. I wasn't splitting yarn, but it's definitely pointy enough. It is an inline hook. And if you don't know what inline is, inline, the hook and the shaft are in line with each other. And I'm not typically somebody who likes an inline hook. I like it tapered better, but I had no issues. This did not hang up on me like some other inline hooks have. I think the reason that it didn't hang up on me is that where it goes into the throat of the hook, it is not a sharp edge. A lot of inline hooks I've found to be much steeper and sharper. This seems very smooth and almost rounded there. So I think that's why I didn't get hung up on this inline hook. So uh, if you're looking for an inline hook, this could be a good one. As far as the length of the hook goes, the prims have a nice length to their hook. Here's the clover, and I'm holding it up to where this taper happens. I'm considering this the length of the hook. Definitely a longer hook, and it's excellent for keeping a lot of stitches on your hook. I use this for the jasmine stitch in the Fall Fireside Afghan, where you keep a lot of loops on your hook. No issues whatsoever. Love it. Now, Misty, one of our subscribers said that when she saw me using it, she wasn't sure if the hook was bending or not when I was using it. I didn't notice that, and I tried using it again to see if I noticed it. 
sometimes when you're looking for something, you may change the way you do it. So I'm not sure if I changed the way I was using it, but I didn't notice any bending. So I just wanted to mention that. I didn't notice it, but Misty said she did. So for my overall rating for price, I give it a three. I would consider it middle of the road, $6 per hook. Edamo and Clover a little bit more in general. Um, Furls is way more. And then of course there are many sets that are less expensive than that. For aesthetics, I give it a four. I think they're pretty, not as pretty as say a Furls Odyssey. And also the way that the size is stamped on it, I had to take off for that. For grip, I give it a five, very comfortable, no issues whatsoever. For slip, I give it a three, middle of the road, and it did have that squeak thing happening. So very middle of the road. I don't know that it slowed me down, like I said, but not great and not terrible. <laughs> For the point on the tip, loved it, gave it a five. Absolutely no issues with the point whatsoever. And it was helpful in getting into stitches. For length of hook, gave it a five. I can do any stitch with this with no problem. I felt the length of the hook was very helpful when I was doing the jasmine stitch. So that gives this set of prim ergonomic hooks an overall rating of 4.2 Franny squares. Okay, so I hope you found that review helpful. If you've used the prim hooks, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you could, just let us know which hold you use. Do you use the knife or the pencil hold? Because I think it will help the community in making their decisions. As I've said before, hook preferences are really very personal. And a lot of times what works for one person is not necessarily what works for another person. So the more information we get from all of you, the better. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.